Hello, hello again and welcome back Sterling C. Sample here from the Steel Drum Training Center of America. And today we're going to get into another class on MIDI, okay? We just did the MIDI browser in chapter 11, tutorial 11. We're going to do the MIDI, um, load MIDI. Load MIDI means the MIDI that's loaded already in your computer. Now these are separate from online. These are private um, stuff that you have in your own computer. Or somebody sent to you uh, a private class. If it's, it's just it's somebody do a song and send it for you, you could put it in your load MIDI. You could drive it into your load MIDI and play it over. Uh, somebody do a MIDI song and want to see, you want to see it on the steel pan, how it's played on the steel pan. That person could actually do a MIDI song and transfer it into MIDI, send it for you, and you would see it play on the bass. You would see it play on the tenor bass. You would see how it's played on the on the guitar. I was played on each one of the pans. Once the person separate the bytes and then remember these are all bytes here. These are all bytes here. So you have to have, you know, your bass on three, your, you know, your, your, your double seconds on two, your double, you know, and, and so forth. Okay, guys, so let's get into this class, MIDI, play, MIDI, uh, load MIDI. Load MIDI is um, all the stuff that you have inside your computer, as I just said to you. So once we are, once we're in here, Inside the steel pan training center, we we found the MIDI browser on top here, right? That's what we'd work on on a while ago in in, in um, tutorial number eleven, but we are gonna work on the MIDI load MIDI, which is located down here, right below your about page. Okay, so let's drive into load MIDI. Once you hit load MIDI, all your stuff is gonna pop up here. That's that's everything in your computer gonna pop up here. In fact, okay, but you need to just find uh, break it down as MIDI, you know, find all the MIDIs, where all the MIDIs are, or you, if you're a very organized person in your computer, you're going to know that the MIDI file, you put it on, on your, um, on your desktop, or on your, 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 your you know, your, your, your desktop, in fact, in your first page, you can find it right there, okay, the, this is the files here, these are all documents, all stuff here, but what you could do also, just search MIDI, M I D I, and all the MIDI files gonna come up here. Okay, guys, anything that's named MIDI gonna come up here. This is Mary. Did you know in MIDI? So this this is actually a, a one of the MIDI forms I took from. Uh, I transferred this from a from a, a score. This was transferred from a score. So that's the load MIDI, okay? So let's stop it. I'll go back to load MIDI, right? Go back to load MIDI. You see all this stuff here, all this, all this, all my, all this, all my personal stuff here. Let me see all my business, right? So you do your load MIDI again. Go to MIDI. And all this stuff gonna come up here. I have jazz runs, MIDI pack here. These are my personal stuff here that I sent for some of you guys. Jazz runs, you want to hit that, it's going to give you all the jazz runs and stuff. That's your load MIDI, okay, guys. Your load MIDI. If you want to do more MIDI, always once your MIDI song is in your computer, you don't need no online service for this. These are songs that's in your computer itself, okay. Go MIDI again, you will find your rest of songs. So you back this up, you back it up again, and you go, or you go download, you know, and you find your MIDI stuff that all the MIDI you download is going to be right here. Just hit MIDI. And your computer gonna do the rest. You're gonna search and find them. Okay? All these are MIDI songs, they're MIDI scales and chords, all these are these are famous chord progressions, jazz runs. You know, I I like Julian Bradley, I love his scales, you know, he does a lot of scales, MIDI world songs and them. Anything that's MIDI is gonna come up here, right? And you can 
always you know woke them these are bg's chord progression these are chord progressions staying alive staying alive chord progressions so these are simple chord progression that you could you know upload into your system there you go again so so these are all oh, oh Pharrell chord progression Neil Diamond chord progression Michael Jackson chord progression you know John Denver chord progression Grover Washington chord progressions these are all chord progressions you can find inside you, your personal chord progressions you put them inside here and you access them every time you want them on you know uh, and that's how it goes man so it goes brother okay so uh, I think that's it for this, this this section. You understand how to navigate your your um, scales inside your computer itself. Your MIDI that's load MIDI that's MIDI that's loaded already loaded inside your computer. Okay, guys, inside your, it's already loaded inside your computer. All you have to do is access them. Hit MIDI MIDI beep up training. That's a book I have on that. Maybe did you know I have on that, and, the, and I think there's a lot. There's lots more here too. Where you can find here, you can scroll along and find a lot more jazz runs, midi pack. This is a jazz run, steel pan shooter scales. All these are scales here. These are melodic minor. You know, these are scales that I simple scales for you to learn. You, these are simple skills for you to learn, you know. So just learn these simple skills. And um, learn these simple skills and then. Learn these simple skills and then. Excuse me, someone was, was calling me there. Sorry about that. Learn these simple skills and then, man, you know. And, and then, but I mean, this for, this for beginners. And also, I forgot to tell you, you could change the keys, right? You can change the keys. You can change the keys. That wasn't C. So you change the key now. Right, it's a little low. So you see how low that is? Can change the keys go here and go down an octave go up another octave so you can actually learn the scales in all the, the key the scales in all different keys right all different keys you can learn it in so that's a simple scale let's 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 find one of the the pent let's find a pentatonic scale a pentatonic minor scale ascending and descending check it out this is how it sounds Pentatonic minor scale, and I have a book on this. I have a whole book on these. So, so what you do is you 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 keep it in, you keep it in C. You reload it again, but keep it in C, okay? You read it alone. Re <laughs> reload it again. Let's reload it again and it will come from C. Because if you don't start in C, you would, you would not be able to go up. If you go to C sharp, it will read it different. So that's a low C there. So let's find that low C. Let's find that low C. That's a thirds and fourth. So let's find that low C. The fourth and fifth have the low C. Start it again. Let's start it again. C, low C. That's a C pentatonic. Right. You want to change the key now. Go to C sharp. You can change the key to D now. All 
right. All right, so let's let's go. Let's go on. So that's it for that. We got bebop scales, we got tin pass scales for all lead pans. You know, this is progressions for all the lead pans here. And all these these are all my bebop, all my MIDI stuff inside my computer, my personal stash here. So you could have your personal stash too and go in there and get them for yourself. So that's it for load MIDI. Okay, that's it for load MIDI. I mean you could do a lot of stuff with load MIDI. Okay, uh, trying to get a, uh, trying to get a, a recording, <laughs> uh, trying to get a recording and uh, like record your, your screen. Uh, you could play the scales right on the screen and record it and 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 uh, and you send it for your studio. You know, um, these are good exercise for you to have inside your your um, inside your training center. Good exercise for you to have. Learn these scales in them, and you could apply them in your music. Okay, guys. So that's it for load MIDI. Remember, we have. MIDI browser, which we did already. Now we're doing load MIDI, where you can load in your stuff, everything in your computer, your desktop, or your downloads. Going to come up here, and you're gonna you're gonna have access to all of them. Just put MIDI here and search. All your be all your stuff gonna come up here, and you could you could have all these are MIDI stuff. All these are super Locrian scale. Let's check out the super Locrian scale. Right, but you, you start it in in C. You see, you kind of oriental it song. Yo, yo, that song. It, it, it's so, it's so. <laughs> na, 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 it's kind of, kind of, kind of Orientalish, Middle Easternish, as it look on scale. So that's it for this. Okay, le okay. Let's finish with, let's finish with a regular scale. Let's finish with a regular scale. Pentatonic, bebop scale, steel pan keys. What we have again? What kind of scales we have again? Uh, MIDI practice. This for double seconds. Jazz articulation. Let's let's see some jazz articulation. You could, you could, you know, just play around with these stuff, you know. And the key is practice, okay, guys. The key is practice. I myself do it, get the time to practice enough. But if you really want this, you have to practice, right? And these things, it go in sharp your ears, it go sharp your movements, it go sharp everything that you have to do. Okay, 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 guys. So this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the last one I'm giving you on load MIDI. So you could do the chords and the, the tetra chords and the notes. Okay, guys. All right, all right. So that's it for this section on load MIDI. Remember, we did MIDI browser. We did load MIDI. Next time we will come back, we're going to do preset MIDI. Okay. So this is Sterling C sample here from the Steel Drum Training Center of America saying, see you in the other class. God bless you and have a wonderful day. I love you <laughs> always as, as usual, <laughs> you know. Okay. See you in the other class. Bye-bye.